Hello guys, um, I'll take you through my daily creations, how I do it every day. Uh, I open Logic every single day and I sketch a new sound. Because I want to uh, stay creative, it helps me if I do this every day just to stay in the process and learn something new. This is very important if you do it uh, every day you you learn something and i don't have to really attach myself to the results um whether it's good or bad you, you sometimes it's, it's you, i only have like i don't know 15 minutes or so or half an hour because i need to do something else and i still do it because uh, uh, it helps me a lot staying creative and learning something new and stay in the momentum otherwise uh, to be honest I'm, if i if i don't do this um i might stay for days not not producing so i've been doing this for um almost four months now and uh, every day creating sometimes results are good sometimes it's only can go to the garbage um but I like it like that. I did the same thing a few years ago and I did also a few months where uh, I, I was doing one track every day and it helped me a lot like learning new uh, techniques and um, staying in the process. So I will take you um, with me through my session Minilog XD. Let's put it on. This one uh, will probably do my base, my bass line. It's a very nice uh, poly synth. I like it a lot. Compact, uh, small, and it sounds good. It has very beautiful uh, effects. You, um, and it's good. I'm not. I'm, I wasn't really big fan of Korg. But this one, this is my first Korg synthesizer, and I like it. They they've been making really good stuff lately. So yeah, this one will do my bass. The maybe the poly sounds will come from my uh, Jupiter. This time I just connected the the Kenton box and. Um, it's ready to uh, to go. This is my session. I have 79 tracks usually. Dr drums from 1 to uh, supposedly 30, 29. And uh, sound effects like washes, sweeps and stuff like this some noise here on these tracks bass tracks are I have four that I go between them I, can, I will go to, uh, into details maybe in a little in another video and this is where I put some chords arps lead sounds and these are different, other different things. They're not assigned. Each session is different. So I, with these colors, I assign um, different tracks for each session. Let's go. I guess I'll stick to this beat I made earlier. It has. Uh, Let's have a listen. Kick, clap. Um, easy and simple, and then comes here. Hi hat, ride, and shaker. Hi hat and ride are coming from. Uh, a Roland TR909 and the shaker is uh, from a sample 
pack I uh, I got earlier. So. I usually loop this part and then I'll go here to chords. So now I will I will record two tracks, one MIDI track from uh, from the Jupiter. The Jupiter will also send MIDI and uh, the audio track from Jupiter here. Completely uh, spontaneous, nothing jammed or nothing uh, planned or anything. So I I will jam a little bit on this loop and then record. Go again here and uh, record uh, from this from this point. I will live with this one. Now, let's do some uh, editing. Okay, first, I'll just, just sketching. This is what I call sound sketching. Ideas just, just come spontaneously to, uh, to me. So I just lay them down here. And um, every now and then I'll just go back through them and choose uh, the best ones and develop to full tracks. So before I forget what I usually do, because now I recorded this one uh, on this track, it's an audio track. What I usually go here in Logic, I, I write the name of the preset. So this one is number 24. So I wrote this number and the preset bank. So I, I know exactly how to trigger this sound again. And I will go here, flatten and merge. So I have only one audio file to edit this. This, this part I want to edit. Usually I do a simple, easy, can do with the flexing, rhythmic flexing.
that's sort of better. Yeah, it's nothing finished, it's just uh, sketching ideas every day. Sometimes you come with really uh, good stuff if you do it daily and you have some time to finish, like a few hours you're working on something and then uh, you definitely come with something uh, worth investigating later. good. We have one minute. Uh, let's go for the base. So, base is coming from Minilog XD, one of my favorite synthesizers. Um, I have a very favorite preset that I just made earlier and um, let's jam a little bit and then record. This is how it sounds. I can show you later in another video how I made this preset. We can go through details. Yeah. I think I think I'll go uh, with this octave jump thing. Record. This one, this one I want to uh, edit, this breakdown, it's a different chord, if I remember correctly, this one, yeah, this was D minor 6, so, I want this note which is D, D, so, so if we listen, Yeah, I want this one. Could be trash at the end, <laughs> I don't care, but 
doing it daily is the thing. Of course, sometimes you have more time. And uh, so, so this is the first time I do this video thing. So the whole purpose is just to be quick with it and just show you the workflow and test my camera, microphones. Yeah. Flatten or flat everything. Oh, yeah. Flatten and merge. Yeah, it's, it's uh, worth mentioning that uh, these sounds we were listening at, they were coming directly from, uh, from my sound card. So I, I don't monitor in, in logic uh, because of uh, latency issues. I don't, I don't like, I, I like to direct monitor from my sound card. It's very capable, this baby face one, and it can really uh, bring you good results with the direct monitoring and I, sometimes I put some effects if my if the synth I use doesn't have effects so Jupiter 8 for example it does not have effects so I put some reverb on it or delay uh, so this is what you listen while I'm recording but when we lay the tracks here in uh, in logic we will listen to something else because logic effects will be applied so and EQs and stuff like this so this is a base after recording. Have some boost here around 112 and high cut of course 5700 and saturation. I like this plugin a lot. It has oversampling and it's, it makes like some nice uh, saturation to the sound. Big fan of uh, saturation, I am. So. some effects on the master channel that I will turn off now. Okay, and one thing I really just discovered recently, also by doing it every day, so I learn new stuff. I will cut this breakdown stuff and instead of like just putting side chain on everything and sometimes you have to automate where the side chain where you don't want your side chain to kick in uh, usually in the breakdown I like to keep my breakdown uh, uh, sustained with the baseline and uh, of course you sometimes you want to apply some side chain to where, where the kick drum is so here I have my breakdown breakdown and this last part doesn't have beat so breakdown doesn't no beat here no beat no no kick drum here no kick drum here and this one this one this one has kick drum i, I will not put a side chain on the here sometimes i do but for this track I, I will not i'll just choose these regions that i want to apply side chain to and take advantage of selection based processing 
this one you can put like a side chain on it um, it's not a side chain now, it's like kickstart, it's a plugin we can go through uh, some other time but yeah, I have it here and you just apply to these uh, regions Re rename sorry, rename and recolor again so now have this part with a space to the side chain and you can see it also. And then when the breakdown comes, I like it like this. So let's have a look. Not too much. Uh huh. We need maybe to uh, also fix a little bit here. To be honest, I would never do this. I would be careful with like this kind of flexing uh, if I'm working on a final track, but now it's uh, just sketching, so it's okay. So guys, what I did now, um, I wanted to have another um, uh, line for Arpeggiator. I got the same chords we have and I put them on uh, Arpeggiator track and I will send them to uh, Jupiter 8. So I have the, the ARP here from, um, from Logic goes to uh, Jupiter 8 and I will do some modulation here and let's see what we get I also chose a preset I like so let's have a listen Okay, I think I record this one.
think we have uh, one minute of recording. So very little of uh, editing, um, some mixing with the console one device, from soft tube, this one, easy, turning knobs. And then uh, we have one idea for uh, tonight. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one. You'll find this track on uh, SoundCloud if you want to listen to the final thing. Bye.